All right, folks, uh, we're getting this underway. Dave the Diver! I have never played this before. As a man who looks at least somewhat relaxed. a man and his crab and his cell phone and his beverage and a nice table. I appreciate this, but I'm going to skip it, and let's get down to it, because there's always a tutorial mode to get through. Uh, welcome to the Mistakes Were Made oh. Dinocast. Cobra! All right. I have a terrible feeling about this. And now I dive! Alright. Welcome to the Mistakes Were Made Dinocast. I'm your host, Chris Barlick, coming to you live from the University of Maryland College Park, uh, Studio B. Yes, at the risk of ox at the expense of oxygen, I can get where I, I need to be. I need a dive knife. Oh, my first kill. Ooh, I get harpoon. There we go! Alright, that's the range on this guy. And there we are. I am murdering fish with a harpoon. Sushi, right? Mm. <laughs> All right. So much sushi. I accept the game, otherwise there is no game.
Oh yeah. He is Boncho. He is amazing. Okay, that's incredibly bad. I, I do have to say the vibration on the control is outstanding. I can see why people are liking this game. This is Warrior Sharpens Sword on the Whetstone. And of course, there's an earthquake. The incident. Fishy, I just want to murder you. All right, two fit. Very nice. I do have to hand it to him. I mean, they, uh, this is absolutely beautiful. And I, I, I do like the fact, the fact that the uh, larger fish uh, offer more vibration, more resistance on it. There we go. Take that, fish. I'm not sure how to make the hundred gold there, so I'm gonna just return with seven delicious fish. Not bad. But yeah, uh, let's see. Oh. Here we go. Open these ingredients. Okay. 
Look at me, adding things to a menu. Yeah, that's... Alright, that's incredibly bad. Oh. Yes! Oh, I am a master of whoring. Yeah, here I am throwing away sushi. Sexy, sexy sushi restaurant. Hello, ladies. Wasabi. Here, here is food. <laughs> there is both food and love. Okay, I have to admit this is really fun. Um, like, I, I I never really got around to, to sort of playing restaurant management or, or task-based games, and I screwed that up. Um, it was kind of, kind of seemed a bit, a bit like a, a time suck, but you know what? Definitely, definitely sort of a fun time suck, if you will. Sorry for the lack of chit-chat, just trying to learn this game. I only screwed up with one customer. I feel good about this. means the octopus loves you! Or is out to murder you. Hmm. 
<laughs> Give me some agar and red starfish. I can do that. Not to Delhi. So yeah, uh, let's see what's going on. Um, we are waiting for the school year to start up. Uh, we're about two weeks and two days uh, from it. Um, should be good. And yeah, just uh, sort of a little bit of calm before the storm here on campus. Alright, I am... Oh, there! I have now shot you in your fishy face. Okay, that, that took talent to miss that many fish. A baseball bat, okay. Cheap Japanese sword. All right, pretty neat. Okay, this is just really beautiful, I gotta say. starfish and trying not to die. Okay. Alright. Sea urchins are not my friends. Let's see. So, cool thing, um, we are prepping for uh, Dragon Con. Ah, okay. That thing really did not want to be caught. There we go. Um, and we have started shooting a, a promo video for, for Dragon Con. We, uh, we're doing a parody of the classic uh, hotel, the classic uh, Coppola Martin Sheen hotel room freakout scene uh, from Apocalypse Now, but with a dinosaur suit and boba tea. Um, so myself and the amazing Stuart Washington uh, spent Saturday uh, pinning, the, pinning most of the footage and the shots down. Um, let's see. Um, for the first shot, we kind of wanted to perfectly recreate the uh, the the entire early morning light that that kind of came with uh, just the overall scene in 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 Apocalypse Now, and uh, 
Okay, that thing is huge. I think I'm just bothering it. Alright, there's a red starfish. That's more wood. I am now going up and just stabbing this thing. And that'll... Th okay. The thing is fairly enormous. mention a reward, but, you know, I, uh... Olive oil, okay. Oh! Okay, that was terrible. exists for a reason. Now I know that. Okay, I have an escape pod. Now I know this. Tell me what you need. I'm hunting for rope and scrap iron. I can do that. Alright, let's go and let's be smarter this time. Anyway, hope you guys are having a good day, having a good summer. Um, and, uh, you know, just hope everything's going well. Let's see what we can grab. Looking for agar and starfish. Nice. Alright, that's a good way to screw up. to him. This is absolutely beautiful. Alright, what we got down here? Uh, just say hi in the comments, you know, um, and thanks for tuning in, and, you know, it's the end of the summer, but, you know, can't, can't really argue too much with things. Rope, wood, and oxygen. All right, that's awesome. And yeah, I do have to say, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just using an Xbox controller on this. 
Beautifully responsive, the vibration is great. They, they did an excellent, excellent job with this. Just feels good. Come on. Okay, this fish wants to murder me. Woo! Oxygen capsule. Oh, cool. Scrap iron. I have no idea where the final starfish is. Yep, trust me, I know I'm running out of air. Alright, come on, please. There we go, there we go. Oxygen is a good thing. Yo! Alright. I have made one man happy. And he has given me a basic, basic underwater, underwater water rifle. Huh. Oh, cool. Straight from an anime fan, a basic underwater rifle. Huh. Very nice. Here we go. Oh, I am so opening the sushi restaurant and I am endeavoring to screw up less than I did last night. Here's the goodness. Woo. Okay, I have to admit, this is pretty fun. It's simple, it's to the point. The, the graphic style is amazing, just very, very cool. Don't be angry.
Such, sir, such su sushi, I will serve you. Definitely get used to this game. hunting for that final starfish right now and that's kind of how things are going so what else uh short long story short um for the footage that we shot on saturday and sunday uh we wound up with with uh the inflatable dinosaur chugging boba tea and uh, we, we're gonna edit it over the over the coming week, and see what we can get out of it. All right, red starfish is done. Feeling good about myself. Escape pod. Very cool. Neat. All right. Fishy murder. Amount of ammo in the gun. That happens. So, uh, what else? Um, I got some very nice comments. Uh, as as to last week's stream, I uh, did uh, Maniac Mansion for the NES, which was pretty much a childhood obsession of mine. Um, just nice views, some really nice comments, and thank you guys. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, there's a, a remastered version of it on Steam. Huh. Ooh, underwater scooter. Neat. And I kind of want to uh, go into that remastered version, uh, play the game to a different end, and just play with it. Um, kind of see what's there. 
like I when I was growing up, I knew there were multiple different versions of Maniac Mansion, and I I knew it was one of those Lucas games that that had just been ported, uh, you know, as widely as they could port it. All right, let's try the escape pod. Come on. There we go. Very cool. Um, and I do I do want to see what's there. You know, I I want to see how the graphics are different. Um, they kind of took a greer feel to it. Ah, oh, she's optimistic. <laughs> Very cool. Gonna repair the hell out of Bancho Sushi. Hmm. Hmm. I am going to dive one more time today. Let's see what I can't get. Um Yeah, I I definitely want to try the remastered version. It's free cheap on Steam. And you know, just kind of try a different look and feel on it. Um, there also there there is always part of me that wants to go back to the original uh, Day of the Tentacle. Uh, there's a remastered version of it, which is insanely awesome. Uh, I played it a couple of years ago, and uh, just the given how well it's written and everything that went into it, uh, one of my favorite favorite games from the '90s. So there is definitely something cool on the retro front there. Um, you know, granted that represented a heyday that, you know, you might, you might feel, oh, you know, it's it's gone forever. It, it'll never be back again. Even if that heyday doesn't specifically come from Ron Gilbert and company, uh, I think it does inspire something incredibly cool. You know. You, you you can sort of bitch and moan and say, oh man, video games today, it's it's not like it was, or it's it, it's not it's not what I remember, or you know, there's just no value there. I have a hard time believing that. You know, I think there's always value to be had, um, and I think there's always just a good idea floating out there that's really fun to follow up on. And I used the escape pod way too early on that one. So, that's me flapping my lips about LucasArts, LucasFilm, Gate Day of the Tentacle. Just awesome, awesome games. Granted, I probably should give uh, Sam and Max more of a chance and do a playthrough on, on that. Um, when I first tried Sam and Max Hit the Road, I was like, alright, this is good, but... I also kind of came to a point where I was busy with my life and uh, didn't get as far with it as I as I would have liked to. Okay, no items on the menu. That's bad. Ooh, very cool. Okay, that's handy. You can just kind of click up and it goes to max. Alright. Enhance! Alright, I haven't hit level yet. Dish. 
Okay, this man intensely wants sushi. Okay, I think I'm kind of getting the hang of it here. Okay, this dude left a freaking mess. Got it done. No one wants angry or unfulfilled. Wow, 38 gold profit. Not terribly great. <laughs> Dr. Bacon! Okay. The amazing sea people. Very cool. Okay, that was our fault. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is the most enthusiastic human being ever, once he's convinced. Alright, new content, the iDiver app. Neat. Oh yeah, upgrading the suit. Neat. All right, traces of the sea people. Fried egg jellyfish. All right. Uh, don't know who wants to really eat jellyfish, but. down here. Yellow! Okay, this thing is murdering me. All 
olive oil. There we are. Oh, wow, that, that is really beautiful. Here. Right. Too big to reel in? I understand. All right, the oxygen capsule. thing is huge and probably doesn't like me. <laughs> oh, mama! Alright, so... Oh! Oh! That is disgusting and amazing. I think, I think I definitely need an upgraded harpoon gun of some sort. Alright. That thing is angry and does not like me. I don't necessarily know if I need the escape pod down here, but it's, it, it's just too cool when it comes down. That's kind of the thing. academic we know. Alright, vamonos. Al restaurante. New content. Interior. Oh, cool. I actually... This was weird. Back around 2007, um, I used to do stand-up at uh, a sushi bar in... Um, over in DuPont Circle, and uh, there there was a sushi chef, and honestly, he uh, was a bit ahead of his time. Nice kid, nice guy, and he used to take pictures of the sushi that he'd completed. And, you know, at the time, it's like, oh, it's 2007, who would do such a thing? But honestly, uh, he took great pictures, and, uh, you know, he had a good idea with it. Now, oh. do I... I think you necessarily need to take a picture of every every bloody thing you put in your mouth? No. Or every sandwich or every sushi bit? Not necessarily. But, you know, smart guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
All right, we're gonna skip ahead and uh, gonna see what we can do with this. I agree, there aren't enough workers. Got a new follower, Mercury uh, OXO. Thank you. <laughs> a taciturn but masculine chef. <laughs> Holrus and Sharkhead, okay. Ah, okay. You go fight a shark, okay. special customer. Gotta go for the tea first and try to please those people at the very least. as I serve you sushi. Oh, there you go. All right, I've earned artisan flame. And this lunatic person wants me to go fight a shark. That's how it goes.
Okay, something is weird with the refresh. Let's dive for things that want to kill me. This is terribly odd. Hey, dolphin! Oh, he, I am so gonna make friends with this dolphin. Alright, Echo's got nothing on this guy. I never really knew anyone who played Echo the Dolphin. I, I was just given to understand it was this beautiful but sort of impossible game. I should totally cut the net. Alright, you are my new pink dolphin friend! Better, better murder weapon. Very cool. Uh, let's see if we can get some more oxygen here. Yes. running out of air, so let's not die here. Escape pods are a good thing, Joe. I'm sure uh, Yahweh invented them for a fairly good reason. <laughs> so, let's see. Back again. Uh, you've got my awkward mug on the camera. I... Threatened to decorate this place a little bit, and I, Nate Stevens was like, Here! Throw LED things on the wall. At which point I was like, Okay. Alright, no argument. So one hip compared to Sato. Oh. 
Very cool. Alright. Marine trading cards. Woo! Okay, that's neat. Hmm. All right, I'm being told I ordered a, an igloo cooler via my spam mail, so this is fun. Your life will be made so much better by this igloo cooler. Oh wait, I think I forgot to put anything on the menu. Opening Banzo Bancho Sushi for the night. Oh boy, I have no idea how to go get that whole roasted shark head. how I exhaust Dave in terms of cardio exercise. Sushi is closed. Not bad. Three blue shells, three brown shells. Oi.
All right, I am gonna try to follow this radar signal here, best I can. Okay, the underwater scooter is deeply cool. I just gotta say that. Oh, come on. Okay, I think I am diving way too deep. Trying not to die here. Right. Canister, air. Oh, much better. And now I know how to use the underwater scooty thing. the Scooty Puff Senior. Okay, they're all angry at me. This is good. <laughs> okay, I am grossly overburdened here. So, the hunt for uh, for for the signal here on this underwater sea civilization is probably going to have to wait till I level up the the suit a little bit more. Them's the brakes. Sucker was mocking me earlier. So, in short, I want revenge. All right, I am carving you up. Sometimes revenge is the greatest of all scientific purposes. But yeah, I'm. This is kind of pulling me in, you know. I definitely want to see where where you can go with this, what you can do with this, how far you can upgrade the character.
Okay, try to murder that shark. Collecting seashells for a grad student. That kind of seems on point. That's how you murder sea life. Things just angry. going to die. Uh... This thing is... Oh boy. Oh mama. Okay, that, that thing's angry at me. The shark is displeased. I'm running out of freaking air. Okay. That was, oh, oh my God, oh, and and I was like two feet from the the escape capsule, and things were bad. But you know what? Uh, it's one of those walls that you hit, and you know it's kind of like, oh man, I want to go back, I want to take that on, I want to conquer it. So, can't really knock it. All right, let's sling some sushi and kind of get things in order here. <laughs> Boy. Drink love. I almost got your shark, okay? There were there were constraints. You're right, it was bad. Hang on, I am attempting to rush your way. Just before she could get truly angry. Hang on. Okay, they're angry. Hmm. 
All right. Oh, can't win them all. There we are. Ah, doing better. Uh, this is quite quite different than my experience as diving. I think it's meant to be. I'm. <laughs> I don't think, uh, for most people diving, it's like, yeah, go hunt me a shark! Case in point. Um, yeah. Uh, I've only, like, gone really casually diving a few times. My dad, my dad back in up in Rhode Island, he's more of the diver. Ooh, my friend, the dolphin. Flipper. Oh, for the love of God. You know, I realize humanity is, like, terrible, but... This dolphin also does keep falling into various nets. gonna try that again because yeah that dolphin does not deserve that Save the pink dolphin from pirates, and I can breathe. Air. Oxygen. Aww. They are deeply in love. <laughs> the dolphin will now point the way towards advanced military technologies that have been hidden, uh, hidden along the seafloor. It'll be like the microprocessors in The Departed. Dolphins give you giant amounts of gold? <laughs> Here, buy a house. Alright, I actually require sushi for the restaurant. Here's a gold bar. Buy a Lamborghini. Scooty Puff Jr. and or Sr.
Alright, I've kind of topped out my uh, carrying capacity here. So, let's grab the O2 and maybe I can make something out of the, out of the signal, maybe not. I cannot get over how beautiful this game looks. Uh, I mean, you can call me a chump and a simp or whatever you want to call me over it, but just this is absolutely gorgeous. Alright, you're coming with me. I've killed my first Barracuda and I am totally overweight or over, over capacity on my weight here. he just kind of sort of swims on by like we we're co-workers but we're not necessarily close it's like yeah uh, okay yeah he brought bagels the other week okay that works oh for the oh this is horribly bad okay let's uh switch this out And the shark just ate me quite a, quite easily. Um, that was bad. <laughs> Which is, of course, my fault. Why, why am I approaching this fairly large shark with a very small knife? Like, I do not deserve to be reincarnated based on that. It's just like, that was the dumbest thing you could have done, and you did it. Okay, they're not going to be happy based on that. Let's actually come back with food to serve to people who want to eat the food and that's how commerce and capitalism and trade work <laughs> or at least supply and demand like part of me really 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 wants to just hunt down this shark and you know have that be a, a nice culminating event for today but if I'm if I'm not making the basic requirements on what needs to be done, you know, why hunt the shark in the first place? Just uh, just going after materials. All right. You are the food for this evening. It's just that simple. Okay. 
Alright, Mr. Shark, I am shooting you in the frickin' face. Once again, that was terribly bad. Okay. Oi. All right. Okay, at least he's happy with that. Let's go back and actually get something that can be served. And dear God, I want to take down that shark. <laughs> it keeps murdering me. I want to take it down. Something I am really liking, though, is uh, honestly just the randomization that's coming with the level here. I mean, it's kind of an obvious, obvious thing these days, but just each time you're you're entering something pretty new and pretty cool. when you shoot fish in the face. Come on. There we go. Excellent. Love a god. Wait, I'm actually somehow still alive. <sighs> oh my god. All right, I'm bringing back that back to the restaurant at the very least. It's me versus that shark. This is like Quint, Quint from uh, Jaws, but far more obsessive. Robert Shaw lived and was pretty overweight. That's me. If Robert Shaw ate his feelings, all of his feelings. You see, when, when you only drag one thing back with you... Okay, that was bad. I give you food. Come on. 
Come on, actually hurry. Come on. Okay, that was a miracle. Why, why have we not hired another waiter? Or someone? Anyone? <laughs> Please. Irritated one person, but <sighs> All right, let's see what we got here. Basic underwater rifle. Okay, this is awesome. <laughs> I think I already had that, but awesome to watch that, that either way. Possess an orange starfish. Okay. Alright, I now have a weird rubbery sledgehammer y thing. Make squeaky noises. All right, I possess a samurai sword type thing. do like half this wall against that freaking shark I'd be on cloud nine here. I mean that 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 shark and I we 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 got something coming. Yeah sharks are afraid of squeaky sounds. Why yeah Roy Scheider should have thought of that or at least Richard Dreyfus. <laughs> it's a good suggestion though. I can't knock it. Beastwood squeaks. I don't believe you're wrong, Mercury. <laughs> All right, very cool. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, for now, I, I think I've just got to focus on getting from point A to point B and get through the day somewhat alive. I, I don't think I'm going to kill that eel anytime soon. At this point, I want to just get back to the surface in one piece. It's not the bravest thing I could be doing. Let me check out that weird cooking pot first. Olive oil! Alright, here we go. The perfect seasoning for anything, uh, no matter what. <laughs> But yeah, once again, uh, thanks to the mighty Nate, Nate Stevens here at University of Maryland. Um, he basically, uh, this is an editing day I'm streaming out of. Okay. And he's, he's like, go, oh, do whatever you want. And I'm like, okay, well, what the LED uh, things destroy the wall or part of the paint? He's like, go, damage the wall slightly. All right, so many missions. Be wrapping up in about 15 minutes um unfortunately i've got to get a software review done i'm reviewing antiviral software for macworld which sounds sexier than it is i've been essentially deliberately infecting my my computer to test various uh antiviral suites and um it's no way to live Honestly, I was kind of thinking, it it seems easier, or, well, you know, this is probably dating me horribly, um, there, um, back around 2003-2004, it was much, much, much easier to contaminate yourself and your, well, to contaminate your computer with, uh, with viruses, um, in, in as much of, as I've been a Mac fan for a long time, um, and sort of always snubbed Microsoft, Microsoft did get somewhat better with its viral protection. Um, Apple got better with it, everyone got better with it. Um, honestly, like back around 2004, it's like, oh, I'm gonna use LimeWire, I'm a hacker. No, you weren't, and that was, like, the world's greatest invitation to effectively screw up your computer, your family's computer, what have you, with just loads and loads and loads and loads of malware, viruses, what have you. So, based on that perspective, it was easier to, uh, to just get a test base of, of malware to uh, test your program against. And granted, uh, you know, incur the wrath of your family. It's like, wait, um, you know, that's a, a fresh new computer. Why is it running much, much, much more slowly than it should, etc.? What's this LimeWire thing? What's this Kazaa thing? And of course, everything just hooked into quite a bit of malware, or, or at least stuff that would that would uh, snag as much personal inf information as you could. Okay, you and me, Shark. You and me. That's... Alright. This is going badly. Alright, I got my licks in. I've annoyed the shark. 
Uh, malware for the Mac. It's getting harder. That's the thing. Um, if you go with uh, views, um, that that's a good source of it. Uh, Mac Keeper, unfortunately, according to some programs, still you know comes across as uh, as malware according to malware bytes. If if you go the sketchy route and it's like, oh, hey, free me media player or free uh, tour download or just something that offers the world for nothing and does in a grammatically terrible uh, fashion, you know, you're getting pretty close to malware. Um, it has gotten a little harder to find malware for the Mac. In, uh, and that may be to Apple's credit or maybe to the overall uh, security industry's credit. But honestly, there is always malware coming out or, or someone... That was bad. Um, or there are people who, you know, develop apps or, or programs that siphon as much personal information as they can get their hands on. You just have to look for it. So... Alright, you. Okay, this person's getting angry. My character has two hands. Why... You know, why can't I serve two sushi platters simultaneously with my two hands? Alright, now I'm worn out. Yeah. Oh yeah! Me and the wasabi. Oh jeez. Yeah, I know. Trust me, Max can get grumpy. People can be like, oh, I have the Mac, it's the greatest thing in the world. Trust me, there are ways to slow it down, there are ways to make it grumpy. Um, but I think to the Apple Store's credit, uh, or or the Mac App Store, the App Store, they, they do keep, run a fairly tight ship for the most part. That's just me. I'm babbling about it. Trust me, I'm, I'm sure there are examples where people are like, oh, you know, this came off the, the app store and it, it just slowed me down to a crawl, and I definitely believe that too. So. But that's what it is. Okay, yes. I am taking the cheap katana. <laughs> I mean, it's computers. It I, I, I think people look at the hardware and it's like, oh, it's this beautiful, intricate, complex thing. It's never going to fail me. Uh, no, I mean, it's it's still a machine and it still has moving parts and there's a mean time between failure. So, yeah, take that, fish! And of course, some people are like, well, you know, uh, my family's had Cadillac for 20 years, and it's like, well, that's sort of a different study, you know? It's a different machine, and different things keep working. But... Thank you. 
I will destroy you. You and me, shark. You and me. One day this will become easy. I can't picture life on that day, but... Yes! Oh, the shark is so dead. Oh, please, we're... Please, please. I am so freaking low on air. Yes! Oh, for the love of God. Oh, yes. Uh. There! Oh, I am validated entirely. <laughs> Me and that shark. <laughs> there we go. Oh, thank you. Oh, for the love of criminy. All right, I am time skipping. I am serving this lady her sushi. I'm adding things to the menu. That's how it goes. No, I'm I'm not going to say like, oh, you know, Max forever or Windows forever, you know. Every platform has its upsides and its downsides and e even the Linux nerds are uh, there there's good stuff there too. So Alright. Green hump head. This is like such a 90s hip hop beat that they're kind of throwing. It's, it's like the Wu-Tang Clan helped develop this game in its intricacies and worked out the, the byte code and the firmware code on it. All right. Okay, maybe I can make her happy tonight, maybe not. Huh. Well, at least the shark is dead. That's all that matters in life right now. what all right. all right I'm going to serve the angriest person first to you. Come on. Here you are. There we go. There we are. Bam! And that's how it goes. Definitely, Mercury, I definitely agree with you. If, if you can run a VM or anything remotely, more power to you, and it is awesome. All right, my parking is about to run out, and I've got to pay the man, and i got to wrap this up. 
thank you guys for coming out uh, and you know bearing with me for Dave's uh, Dave, Dave, Dave the Diver on the Mistakes Were Made podcast or Dinocast. Um, you know, have a good day. Have a good summer. Hope everything's going well on your end. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. Take care of each other. And have a great day. See you later this week. Thanks for watching, guys. All right. Bye.